What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna tell you how you can become a self-taught programmer. This is a video topic that has been requested of me many, many times in the last couple of years. I've been delaying posting a video about it for a long time, but today is finally the day that I'm doing it. I'm gonna to try to be as concise and brief and to the point as possible. I wanna respect your time, but also give you very targeted information. So just sit back, relax, and listen closely. So first I wanna define what a self-taught developer is. I think that a self-taught developer programmer is somebody who does not go to college or university or a coding bootcamp to learn programming. And instead, they learn programming on their own using resources available to them, probably online, whether they're paid platforms or free platforms like YouTube, that's what a self-taught programmer is. They do not go to a formal school to learn programming. Now, right then and there, I'm sure that many of you are thinking, but Clement, is that even possible? Like, can you even do that? Or do you have to ultimately go through some sort of formal education to learn programming? And the answer is, yes, it is possible. Believe me, as someone who has now been a software engineer for basically five years, I genuinely believe that you can be a self-taught developer. And if you don't believe me, then believe the countless self-taught developers who actually exist out there who've done it. But from my point of view, I know what someone who's new to the field needs to learn. If I could take someone under my wing and give them all the knowledge that I have or point them in the right direction and tell them exactly what's useful to learn and what's complete bullshit from college or from even coding boot camps, to be honest, I think that I would be able to get someone from never having written a line of code to being a programmer very quickly. So it is doable, but it is pretty difficult. And I also do think that you can actually be employed as a self-taught developer because these days, most tech companies, including big tech companies like Google, don't really care about your pedigree. They care about your skills, what you can do, Having a college degree or a good coding bootcamp certificate might help a little bit get you in the door, but overall, it is not what matters. So it is doable. Now the question becomes, how? How do you do it? How do you become a self-taught developer? Well, I wanna give you five things that I think are the most important things that you have to do or follow, and then I'll share with you a resource that I think might be helpful to you if you decide to embark on this journey. So the first thing that I think is super important, it's imperative that you do this if you wanna become a self-taught programmer, is you need to have a very good curriculum. You need to not only know what to study, but in what order to study and with what level of priority or depth to study it. Because there are a lot of things that you can study. For example, just like talking about programming languages, if you wanted to become a self-taught developer, you could study Python, you could study JavaScript, you could study C++, you could study Java, and some of these are better than others. For example, I would likely recommend Python, perhaps JavaScript, but probably Python to someone who's brand new to programming. I would not recommend C++ or Java, but some people out there will tell you to do that. So the point is you need to have that curriculum, and then once you have the programming language that you wanna study, you need to know how to go about studying it, what within that programming language to study. So for example, for Python, the way that I would organize a self-taught programming curriculum would be to start with the fundamentals, the fundamentals of programming of Python, things like you know lists, strings, conditional statements, loops, all of that good stuff that really constitutes the base of programming. Then I would move on to object-oriented programming, things like classes, methods, all of that more advanced knowledge. Then on the topic of advanced, I would go to even more advanced programming concepts, things like you know, modules, asynchronous programming, um, threads, that kind of stuff. Then I would move on to software design, you know, look at some of the, the really important software design principles and patterns that exist out there. And then I would probably wrap things up by really trying to master a few very important software engineering tools, things like Git and GitHub, things like Bash, 
things like you know IDEs, like VS Code, for example, that would be the curriculum that I would probably give to someone if they were to ask me how to become a self-taught programmer. So I guess I'm giving it to you. And I think that it's very important to have such a curriculum. Now, this brings me to the second point. The second point or the second thing that you need to do is you need to be learning from people who are qualified, both qualified in like the knowledge that they impart you with and qualified in the way that they teach you. In other words, let's say that you're, you're getting a curriculum from someone, that person needs to know what they're talking about. They need to kind of be an expert, right? Or not necessarily an expert, but someone who's very well versed in programming. And then the people who are actually teaching you the programming, teaching you the curriculum, they need to be really good teachers because there are a lot of bad teachers out there. That's not good. And so here, some recommendations that I can give, obviously not to pat myself on the back, but I think that I'm pretty well versed in what I'm talking about. And I think I'm a pretty good teacher. So the videos that I have on YouTube, I would definitely recommend. And then for example, Tim from Tech with Tim, he's another big YouTuber. He's got like 800,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. You've probably seen him. He does a lot of tutorials. He's a fantastic teacher. He really knows what he's talking about. So these are the kinds of people that I would recommend to learn from. The third point, this one might seem like a no brainer in this day and age, but I'll mention it anyway. And it's that I think you should go after video tutorials. I think that if you're a self-taught programmer, it is especially important that you understand all the details of certain programming concepts, of certain you know, lines of code, and that's just not doable through text. If you're following a textbook or a blog article or you know, some sort of platform that only gives text, I don't think that that's gonna be good. I would seek out high quality video tutorials. And again, here, I would recommend someone like Tech with Tim, he does a lot of those. He's great on camera. He's a great explainer, teacher. That's what you want. The fourth thing that I think you should do if you want to be a self-taught programmer, and this one I will admit is probably the most difficult. This is gonna be very difficult, but it is possible. And again, I'll, I'll talk about a resource afterwards, but practice. It is so important when you're learning programming that you practice, 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 practice. Practice makes perfect. Now, in an ideal world, what would practice look like? In an ideal world, practice would be whenever you are going through some sort of programming lesson, let's say you're learning about, I don't know, lists in Python, ideally, you would be able to have handed to you a bunch of practice problems or questions about lists just to reinforce whatever you've learned about lists, right? Put your newfound coding skills to the test. So ideally you would have some sort of workspace where you can write code, you can run the code against test cases or things like that. Now again, this is like an ideal, you know, it's gonna be hard to find, we'll talk about resources after, but that's what you would want. And you wanna do this for all the things you learn. You don't wanna just watch a video and then blindly move on to the next video tutorial. Like if you're going on YouTube and just watching video after video after video, never applying your skills, or your newfound knowledge, it's not gonna work out. The fifth and final thing that is very important for you to do if you wanna become a self-taught programmer is practical programming projects. If you're trying to be a self-taught programmer, you're gonna go through that curriculum that we talked about, you're gonna to try to do as much practice as possible, but there will come a time where you will need to kind of evolve, grow up, if you will, as a programmer and build more robust, large-scale software applications, projects. You can't just do little coding challenges or little coding exercises. You have to move on to practical projects. Here, it's gonna to be tough to try to find good ones, although there are a lot of good projects online on YouTube. Again, Tim has tons of projects on his channel, so he might be worth checking out, but you wanna do projects. Okay, at this point, you might be thinking, okay, Clement, this is a lot of great information that you've given us, but it still seems kind of very daunting. Like, where do I find all this stuff? Where do I get a curriculum? Where do I get mentors? Where do I get good teachers? Where do I get those practice questions? So I wanna talk about a resource that I think might be really useful to you. I actually discovered this resource pretty recently. It seems like it's a new platform, might be even brand new. I think they just launched today. They're called Programming Expert. And for those of you who know me, who know that I have a company called Algo Expert, you might be wondering, Programming Expert, Algo Expert, these sound kind of similar. Are they related? Yes, they are. Programming Expert is actually Algo Expert's brand new product, a learn to code product. 
And actually, it is that perfect ideal platform that I've hopefully been you know, trying to seamlessly or rather sneakily describe through this video. It is the perfect platform for any aspiring self-taught programmer, anybody who wants to learn to code, Programming Expert is the answer for you. It is live now at ProgrammingExpert.io. It is a single, simple, streamlined, all-in-one-place platform that gives you tons and tons and tons of programming content, organized, structured, handed to you such that you can learn to code confidently, easily, having fun, stress-free. We give you almost a hundred video lessons. Each lesson is accompanied by dozens and dozens of practice questions. I think we've got over 250 practice questions on the platform. And you guessed it, we've got a delightful coding workspace where you can code, execute code, debug code. You can do everything to learn to code on the platform, and I almost forgot, the course was basically created and is completely taught by Tim from Tech with Tim, the YouTuber whom I mentioned before. So go check it out. I don't wanna say much more. You can just read all about it and see all about it on the website, programmingexpert.io. Now I know that some of you might be thinking at this point, Clement, like really you're just recommending this platform. You're not giving us any other platforms or resources or tips that can help us with our learn to code journey or self-taught journey. And the answer is, I could give you other stuff, but the thing is, Programming Expert is exactly what I described as what you need for, for being a self-taught developer. Like Everything that I described is on that platform. Everything. Whereas if I were to try to find other resources or other sort of, uh, you know, put together other resources to fit into what I told you before, I would just spend days. Like, yes, you can try to go on YouTube. You can try to find a curriculum based on the topics that I gave you. I gave you all the topics. You can try to find videos that fit into that curriculum. You can try to find videos filmed by people who are well-known in programming. You'll have to do your own research. You're not gonna be able to come up with the practice problems and all that because that's just not possible without a platform, except on Programming Expert. Um, you can try to find projects online, but we have a bunch of them on Programming Expert. The point is, Programming Expert is everything you need bundled in a super simple platform and a very affordable platform. So genuinely, that is what I would recommend. Of course, if you're not interested, you don't have to check it out. Otherwise, I hope that you were able to get some value out of the tips that I gave you before mentioning Programming Expert, if you wanna be a self-taught developer. But I think that Programming Expert is gonna be the platform that you're looking for. On that note, hopefully you found this video fun to watch, insightful, whatever, you name it. Like the video if you, whatever, you name it. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.